downtown. Now, office workers have gone elsewhere as well. City leaders say there is a record vacancy rate for downtown commercial space right now. That's offices and retail. Nonetheless, what is wanted is housing. People want to live downtown. KCRG TV 9's Brian Tabak spoke to Cedar Rapids Council member and commercial real estate broker Scott Olson. And Brian, this change has been years in the making, hasn't it? Jim, the idea of having commercial space on the bottom and housing above is how many downtown buildings are set up. But Olson says the pandemic has only brought more people to live downtown. These signs downtown are becoming more common, with one city leader saying vacant property rates are up around 20 percent. It's the highest we've been in a decade. Scott Olson, a commercial real estate broker and city council member, says there was once about 15,000 people who worked in downtown Cedar Rapids. He says that has fallen to 10,000. As more and more businesses leave the downtown area, more and more mixed housing continues to move in. Olson says Cedar Rapids is expected to see around 1,000 new downtown rental units over the next two years. It's something he says is unheard of. We're excited about it because uh, we've been trying to build housing uh, so that we can bring other amenities down, like a grocery store that everybody asked for. The projects include here at the Iowa building, where 35 rental units replaced office space that was once there. The $31 million redevelopment of the guaranteed bank building, with more than 70 market rate rental units being created, with the old Dragon building also having housing above. What comes as a surprise to Olson is who's interested in downtown. It's a uh, two different people, two different groups. Young professionals coming to Cedar Rapids or already living in Cedar Rapids that are moving downtown or empty nesters. Olson says this trend is one that started prior to the pandemic, but was effectively sped up when people started working from home. Now he says housing and mixed use buildings are what people can expect for the foreseeable future. Even with all of this new construction and the cost of construction, we're still some of the most affordable housing in the country. To give some perspective on how quickly the Iowa building rental units were leased out, Olson says the construction on the building wasn't even fully complete before they had tenants ready to move in. In the studio, Brian Tabbitt, KCRG TV 9 News.